Well, I have a small shopping haul to share with you, and I will break down how much I spent. We are going to be spending a lot less, and I'm going to still be doing shopping hauls probably every, maybe once a week, but I'm going to try to spend a lot less. Next year, I'm going to even do even less. Maybe I'll only go shopping every other week, and we'll see what we can do. The whole thing is prices are going up all the time. Everything. The doggone secondhand stores aren't cheap either. And I can't believe how much prices have went up at Home Goods. A lot. One of the things that I've noticed that has went really, really went up a lot and cost a lot of money now, and it didn't used to, is napkins. So I am going to on the hunt for napkins at the secondhand stores. This package of napkins had eight napkins in it, $3. That's a pretty good buy for napkins. They're running really a lot. I don't even mind probably spending a dollar and maybe $2 a piece, but I'm not spending more than that. I have noticed Home Goods sometimes has their napkins now at $12 and $20, and sometimes $25. I do tablescapes for two. So, truthfully, if I can find something I really love, I can do it fine. Now, another problem I like, I don't like to have napkins or tablecloths table with patterns. I want them where they're simple for I can use them as many different ways as I can. And as you can see, these napkins will go perfect with this tea set that I got. And will go perfect with this vase I got for a centerpiece. And it would look nice with this here also I got. So I try to look at stuff when I buy it. How many different ways can I use it? How many different ways can I put it together with what I already own and have? So I'm always on the lookout for things like that. So then I also bought a teapot and they actually had the plates that went with it. I would have bought the teacups if they had it. I might have even bought the dinner plates if they had had it, but they didn't. So you do the best you can. Now I'm going to have to look. Um, I really don't think I have to look. I think I have a black teacup and a black saucer already. So that will give me what I need. I only needed two plates. Believe it or not, I think they had three. But I do tablescapes for two. So I decided just to get the two. The plates were $2 each. Not that that's a great deal or not. I did like the pattern. I did like the color. You know, I love garden themes. So most of my stuff will have a garden theme, as you will notice on this shopping haul, because that's what I love. And we need to start buying things we love because it's easier to make arrangements when we love what we have. And I do have a teapot collection I've been collecting for some time. And this one here is done with a pale pink flower, beautiful green, and gold trim. Now I can use pink, like these napkins, they look perfect together, or a green napkin, or a green tablecloth. And I can use them multiple different ways. And I can use another color too, but I'm just trying to show what you can do. This is the manufacturer on this. I know it's hard to believe it actually came from Japan. I was happy to see that. And I don't know if these plates are expensive or not. I don't know much about China and manufacturers. Maybe that should be something I should start researching and give you information on it. There's a lot of things I could do to put post up on and not spend money like checking out is this um, plates and teapot worth the money I spent for it is it a collectible is it something that I could even sell for more than I paid for it I don't know I don't sell anything but I'm just letting you know there's different options the placemats were brand new they were a dollar each I only need two because I only do tablescapes for two so that was two dollars. These placemats were pretty pricey. I thought they were uh, 
two dollars for a set of three but they weren't they were two dollars each and i think they were still brand new the tags were still on it one was soiled so they gave that soil one to me for free but as you can see this one here is starting to fray and it's brand new so you never know what you're going to get but please look and make sure what you're buying is what you want and you're willing to spend the money now the black plates i paid two dollars each and why did i buy black well i could use the black plates with this teapot it would go beautifully but there's always posts going up people are trying to put up black and white tablescapes well i don't have a lot of black it's hard to find so i bought them and that's something else i will keep looking for pieces i don't own and have that are hard for me to find when i find them in the second hand stores this one was something i loved this was three dollars and it was 2.99 Maybe some people might think it's too much to spend for a secondhand cup, but I loved it. I loved how it was designed. I loved the 3D look to it. And I am gonna to try to start collecting more stuff like this. I'm gonna be on the lookout for a teapot that goes with this. If I can find it, I'll buy it. If I can't, I won't. But the great thing about this cup, it comes with so many different colors. I could put it with a solid color blue, pink, lavender, yellow, green, so many different things. Look at that beautiful yellow flower. So there's a lot of things I could put with it. And of course, everyone knows grandma loves to garden and loves her flowers. So that's why I bought it. This one I bought and it was sort of pricey. It was $5.99 for a small base. Why did I buy it? Because grandma collects Mackenzie child pieces and this looks like something that is similar or a look that would work with it. And Mackenzie Child is outrageously expensive. Um, when I started collecting it, my daughter, when I told her that's what I wanted to collect, she told me I was insane. You know how much that stuff costs? You know what I told her? Yeah, I do know how much it costs. I don't care. Because I love the whimsical look to it and I'm trying to make a more high-end channel. I don't want to just constantly be buying stuff from Dollar Tree. I want things that I can love and use for years to come and not get bored with it. I will never get bored with that cup. I can use it for Tea Tuesday from now on. It's not going to bore me. Uh, the napkins will go great with it. I There's just certain things I like. And that's what you need to look for. You need to find things you personally like, your style. Don't worry about everybody else's style because we all have our own style. You're going to find people that like what you like. I do tablescapes for two. Occasionally I'll do something bigger uh, because I do love English teas and believe it or not, I have enough dishes to do a large uh, English tea tablescape. But that's because I love it. Now, if I had to do a tablescape with an English tea theme uh, every week, well, no, I could not do it. Because I don't have enough and I'm not investing that much money because what I have already invested is outrageous amount of money so that's what you have to figure out what is important to you I only do tablescapes for two I have not I have a small house I could not possibly collect that many dishes and do one to three uh, tablescapes for three to six people or eight or 10 or 12. I mean, some people have massive homes, massive tables. I don't have it. Tablescape for two. Do you know there are people out there that love my tablescapes for two? Because they want something simple and cute and nice. They don't need elaborate. So don't ever make yourself feel bad because you can't compete with some of these beautiful channels. I love Glamour Ellen. I love watching her videos. But I'm never going to be able to compete with her. Never. She has a lot more money. She has more time to shop around, find beautiful sets, and share them. She has a massive home to store everything. I don't have it. I'm not spending money for a storage unit. So, I thought I would just share with you. And don't forget, go check out my awesome friend, Glamour Ellen. If you want to see glamorous, beautiful displays, that's the one. And on top of it, she is a super, super sweet creator. I love Glamour Ellen. We have been friends for years. 
and I started seeing her when I was the big channel and now she's the big channel so never turn your nose up to a small channel you never know where they're going to be in two or three years I'm never going to be a big channel and that's fine with me there's plenty of room for small channels like mine hugs and kisses to all my awesome friends hope you enjoyed the shopping haul today and I spent a total of $26.97 plus tax. Thought that wasn't too bad. And we have enough here to do at least two or three displays easy.